Welcome to this quick Windows setup guide for Transform 2020 tutorials. You will find this and more information at this uh, short URL in this document. I'll show this short URL again at the, the end of the video, but of course you can pause at any time to copy it down. So with that, let's get started. Let's go to Google or any of your preferred searched, uh, search options and search for Anaconda Python. We can go either directly here to individual edition or of course straight to anaconda.com. Once you're here, you'll want to go to individual edition, go to the download section and download for Windows on Python 3.7. Depending on whether you're on a 32 or 64 bit machine, pick the correct installer and download that. Okay, so once this is downloaded, let's uh, open it or show it in the folder. Let's run the executable and then we can just click next, agree to the terms. Um, as I say, I'm not an admin, so I'm going to install just for me, which is recommended anyway. Click next, take the default installation folder, default installation options and install. Okay, once that's completed, we can close this out. We don't need to look at this for now. And we now have Anaconda installed on our machine. So let's go and open an Anaconda prompt. So here, just Anaconda prompt, Anaconda 3. And you see here that I am in the base environment that has been created for me by Anaconda. Let me zoom in a little bit so this is more visible. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install a package directly into base um, that will allow us to run any environment inside the Jupyter Notebooks that we will be using in the tutorials. So for this, conda install nb conda kernels. So hit yes to agree. Now we could from here run a Jupyter Notebook directly, but um, we'll create a new environment and install something in there. So first let's create a new environment with conda create minus minus name and the name of the environment, for example, transform 2020, choose a Python version, 3.7 in this case, and then I'll put the Anaconda distribution packages in there. We can hit yes to agree. This will create this new environment. That is the one you will then use in the tutorials. So we've now got our new environment, transform 2020. And if we want to add anything to this environment, we need to activate it first. So conda activate transform 2020. And you see now that at the start of my prompt, I have transform 2020 here. And now in here, if I wanted to install, for example, Equinor's Segwai.io package, I could do pip install Segwai.io inside of that environment. And now if I run conda deactivate to go back to my base environment and from here run my Jupyter Notebook, you'll see that we now have access to that package. So let's run my Jupyter Notebook from here. This will open in your default browser. If I want to make a new notebook and select that transform 2020 environment, in here I can now, for example, import segwai.io. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So import Segwai.io and I have access to Segwai.io's methods. Okay, so that's all for this uh, short tutorial and um, I hope to see you at Transform in June. Thank you.